ಪಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಜುತ ಪದಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀಗುರನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣಮಾಚ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಗನ ರಘುನಾಥೀವ ಸಾದೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯೀರಾಧಾಪಾದ ಸಹಗನ ಲಿತಾಶೀಕಾಶಾಕಿತಾಂಶ್ಚಾಮಿತಾಂಶ್ಚ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ನಾಮೀ ಶ್ರೀವಾರ್ಷಭಾನವೀ ದೈತಾಯೃಪಾಧೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ದಾಯಿ ಪ್ರಭವೆ ನಮಃ ಮಾಧುರ್ಜಯುಜ್ಜಲ ಪ್ರಮಾಢ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀರುಪಕ್ತಿ ಶ್ರೀಗೌರಕರುಣಾಶಕ್ತಿ ವಿಗ್ರಹಾಯ ನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಶ್ರೀಮುತ್ತ ದೀನತಾರಿಣಿ ರೂಪನುಗಿರುಧ್ಯಾಪಿಧಂತ ದಂತಹಾರಿಣಿ ನಮ ಗೌರಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ವೈರಾಗಮೂತ ವಿಪ್ರಲಂಬನ ಶಾಂಬೋಧಿ ಪಾದಾಂಭೋಜಾಯ ನಮಃ ನಮೋ ಭಕ್ತಿವಿನಯ ಸಚ್ಚಿದನಂದನಾಮಿನಿ ಗೌರಶಕ್ತಿ ಸ್ವರೂಪಾಯತಿ ಗೌರಯಾಭಾವೂಮೆಸ್ತ ಸಜ್ಜನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಸಾರ್ವಭೌಮಸ್ವೀ ಜಗನ್ನಥಾಯ ನಮಃ ಮಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುಭ್ರೀಪಾಶ 
पतिदानाम पावने भैष्णवेभ्यो नमो 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 महाबदाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्णचैतनामिनी गौरतिषे नम पंचतत्मक भक्तूपस्वूपक भक्तवता भक्ता नमा भक्त शक्ति हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो वीरबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपी का कांत राधा कंत नम सुते जयता सुरत पंग ममो मंदनुमते गति मत्सर्वर्ष पदा भोज राधा मदन मोहन दिव्यदिंदारण्यकद्रमाध श्रीमदरत्नागार सिंह सनस्थ श्री राधा श्रील गोविंद देव प्रश्वाली भी से मानस बना श्रीमान रासर सारंभी वंशी बट तट स्थित कर्षण वेणु सन गोपी गोपीनाथ श्रिय सुन संसार दाबा नललीलोक प्राणा कारुण्य घना घन प्राप्त कल्याण गुणारणवश्य वंदे गुरश्री शरण महाप्रभो की चरणी स्थगित बाधित्रमाद्यन मनसोरसेन रचकंपु तरंग भाजो वंदे गुणश्री चरणारिंद वंदे गुरश्री चरणारिंद वंदे गुणश्री चरणारिंद वंदे गुणश्री चरणारिंद श्री विग्रहारा धननीतना सिंगारतन मंदिर मजनाद युक्त वक्ताजुंज तो बंदे गुरश्री चरणारिंद 
ಬಂದೆ ಗುರಕ್ಷಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೆ ಗುರಕ್ಷಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೆ ಗುರಕ್ಷಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಚತುರ್ವಿಧಾಸಿ ಭಗವತ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಸದ್ವಾನ್ನ ತೃಪ್ತಿಯನ್ ಹರೀ ಭಕ್ತ ಸಂಹಾನ್ ಕೃತೈವ ತೃಪ್ತಿ ಭಜತೋ ಸದೈವ ಬಂದೆ ಗುರಚಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೆ ಗುರಚಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಾಘವಯರ ಪಾನ ಮಾಧೂರ್ಜಲೀನ ಗುಣರೂಪ ನಾಂ ಪ್ರತೀಕ್ಷಣ ಸ್ವಾನುಪ ಬಂದೇ ಗುಣಚಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಚಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ನಿಕುಂಜೂನ ರತಿ ಕೇಲಿ ಸಿದ್ಧೈ ಯಾಜಾಲಿಬೀಜಿ ರಪೇಕ್ಷಣೀಯ ತತ್ರಾತಿದಾಕ್ಷಾದತಿವಲ್ಲವಶ್ಯ ಬಂದೇ ಗುಣಚಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಕ್ಷಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಕ್ಷಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಕ್ಷಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಸಕ್ಷಾಧರಿತೇನ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವೃತ್ತ ತಥಾ ಭಾವತೈ ವಸದಿ ಸಕ್ಷಾಧರಿತೇನ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವೃತ್ತ ತಥಾ ಭಾವತೈ ವಸದಿ ಕಿಂತು ಪ್ರಭುಜ ಪ್ರಿಯವತ ಬಂದೇ ಪುನ ಶ್ರೀ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೇ ಗುಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರ ಶ್ರೀ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಜಶ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಭಗವತ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಜಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ನಗತಿ ಕುತೋಪಿ ಗಂಕ್ಷ ಜಶ ತ್ರಿಷನ್ನ ಬಂದೇ ಗುಣಚಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೇ ಗುಣಚಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೇ ಗುಣಚಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಸಂಸಾರ ದಾವಾನಲರಿರ ಲೋಕ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಯ ಕಾರುಣ ಘನಾಘನ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ಗುಣಾನ ಬಸ ಬಂದೇ ಗುಣಚಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೇ ಗುಣಚಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಚಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಚಿ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಭಜಸಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತ ಗಾಧ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸದಿ ಭಜಸೀಕ 
ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ನ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗಾಧಾಧಿವಾಸಿ ಗೌರ್ಭಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಭೂನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೈತಾಧಿವಾಸಿ ಗೌಭಕ್ತ ಭಜತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೈತ ಗಾಧಾಧಿವಾಸಿ ಗೌರ್ಭಕ್ತ ಪ್ರವನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೈತಾಧಿವಾಸಿ ಗೌರ್ಭಕ್ತ ಜತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ನ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೈತ ಗಾಧಾಧಿವಾಸಿ ಗೌರ್ಭಕ್ತ ಜತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ನ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೈತ ಗದಾಧಾರ ಶಿವ ಕದಿ ಗೌರ್ಭಕ್ತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ನ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೈತ ಗಾಧಾಧಿವಾಸಿ ಗೌರ್ಭಕ್ತ ಜತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ನ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೈತ ಗಾಧಾಧಿವಾಸಿ ಗೌರ್ಭಕ್ತ ಹರೆ 
श्री श्री भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी महाराज की तिरोभाव तिथि महामस की जाए श्री श्री भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी महाराज की तिरोभा तिथि महामहोत्सव की जय श्री श्री भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी महाराज की तिरोभा तिथि महामहोत्सव की जय थैंक यू वेरी मच I was thinking of where is Jayananda now immediately he has come. Guru Maharaj. Ah, thank you. Take care. It may not fall down. All right. So today is the. disappearance day of my guru maharaj as i told you that sadhava jeeva ma marova there was a nice story the other day i told you that a sage is giving different kinds of blessings to different types of persons so to a king son a prince he blessed rajaputra chiranjeeva oh you are king son prince you live forever and muniputra the son of a saintly person he blessed him majiva majiva you don't live राजपुत्र चिरंग जीव मुनिपुत्र माँ जीव एंड साधु डिवोटिज ही ब्लेस्ड हेम जीवो वा मरो वा आई दर यू लीव और यू डाई एज यू लाइक एंड देर वॉज ए बूचर ही ब्लेसड हेम माँ जीव माँ मरो यू डोंट डाई डोंट लीव so these words are very significant that i have already explained still i am explaining the prince is enjoying sense that's all he has got enough facility for sense enjoyment so his next life is helis because if you indulge in sex life then krishna will give you facility to have sex life three times in a hour just like the pigeons the monkeys the sparrows they are very sexually strong you have seen it so the facility is given so princely order that after sense enjoyment so he is blessed that better you live forever because after your death you do not know what is going to happen to you you are going to get a hellish life better you live for some time go on with your enjoyment and muni putra ma jeeva brahmachari working under the guidance and the strict disciplinary guidance of his spiritual master he is blessed majiva the you better die because you are so trained to enter into the kingdom of god so i should you take so much trouble better you die and go back to god majiva and a devotee he blessed jeevo va marova my dear devotee either you live or die the same and the butcher he blessed him ma jeeva ma maro you don't live don't die what is to do his living condition is so abominable from the morning he has to 
slaughter so many animals, see the blood stain, the ghastly scene, that is his livelihood. So what a horrible life this is. So don't leave. And don't die also. Because after death, oh, he is going to be in so much hellish condition, nobody can describe. So both life, living condition and death, after death, his condition is very horrible. Anyway, apart from others, the devotee, for him, appearance and disappearance, the same thing. Just like when my spiritual master appeared at Jagannath Puri, he was the son of a very big government office, Bhaktivinath Thakur. He was magistrate, government office. And in those days a magistrate is a big officer in the government, practically next to governor. And Bhaktivinath Thakur was in charge of the Jagannath temple. That is the system in Jagannath Puri. And the manager in charge of the temple is the district magistrate. So there was Ratha-yatra festival and the car was passing in front of Bhaktivinoda Thakur's house. Bhaktivinoda Thakur's name was Kedarna Dotta. When he was magistrate, he was known as Kin Dutt. So the car stopped before his house, and at that time, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, a child in the lap of his mother, the mother took the opportunity rising on the car. He was magistrate's wife, so he had the facility immediately. People gave her a way to go in on the top of the car and place the child on the lotus feet of Jagannath, and there were many garlands, corn garland fell upon him. Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati, blessings. This was one of the... There are so many other things. When he was a child, two, three years old, he ate one mango fruit which was kept for offering to the deity. So his father mildly rebuked him, Oh, you have done very wrong thing. It was meant for deity and you have taken it. You should not have done it. The child was two or three years old. He took it so seriously that never after that he took mango. Whenever we offered him mango, he said, No, I am offended. I cannot take mango. He was thinking like that. You see. Never in his life he took a mango. He was thinking that I offended in my childhood by taking the mango of the deity. Right? This is the characteristic of acharya. They teach by their life's action, that one should be so much determined that one should not be a child took the mango, there is no offense, but he took that vow. Another instance, in my presence, at that time we are also young men, and one of my god-brothers, his name is Dr. Aud Bihari Kapoor, he is now retired in Vrindavan. Last time I saw him. He was also a young man. And his wife was also young. So we were sitting together talking with Guru Maharaj. And the girl proposed, My dear Master, I want to speak with you. So Guru Maharaj said, Yes, you can talk whatever you like. So she said, I want to talk with you 
secretly, not in the presence of everyone. The Guru Maharaj said, no, I cannot talk with you secretly. You can talk in the presence of my all other disciples. So even that girl was just like his granddaughter by age calculation. He refused to talk with a young woman in a secret place. These are the instances. So in his life he was Akhanda Brahmachari. Bhaktivinoda Thakur had many other sons and he was the fifth son. And some of his other brothers also, they did not marry. And my Guru Maharaj, he also did not marry. From the childhood, he is strict Brahmacharya. Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Goswami Maharaj. And he underwent very severe penances for starting this movement, worldwide movement. That was his mission. Bhaktivinoda Thakur wanted to do this. He, 1896, Bhaktivinoda Thakur wanted to introduce this Krishna consciousness movement by sending his, this book, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his life and precepts. Fortunately, that year was my birth year, and by Krishna's arrangement we came in contact. I was born in a different family. My Guru Maharaj was born in a different family. Who knew that I will come to his protection? Who knew that I would come in America? Who knew that you, American boys, will come to me. These are all Krishna's arrangement. We cannot understand how things are taking place. In 1936, today is 9th December, 1938. That means 32 years ago. In Bombay, I was then doing some business. All of a certain, perhaps on this date, sometimes between 9 or 10 December, at that time Guru Maharaj was in this pause, little, and he was staying at Jagannath Puri on the seashore. So I wrote him later, my dear Master, your other disciples, brahmachari, sannyasi, they are rendering you direct service, and I am a householder. I cannot live with you. I cannot serve you nicely. So I do not know how can I serve you. Simply an idea. I was thinking of serving him. How can I serve him seriously? So the reply was dated 13 December 1936. In that letter he wrote, My dear such and such, I am very glad to receive your letter. I think you should try to push our movement in English. That was his writing, and that will go to you and to the people who will help you. And I was, that was his instruction. And then in 1936, on the 31st December, that means just after writing this letter, a fortnight before his departure, he passed away. But I took that order of my spiritual master very serious. But I did not think that 
I'll have to do such and such thing. I was at that time a householder. Where this is the arrangement of Krishna. If we strictly try to serve a spiritual master, his order, then Krishna will give us all facilities. That is the secret. Although there was no possibility, I never thought, but I took it little seriously by studying a commentary by Vishnu Chakravati Thakur on the Bhagavad Gita. In the Bhagavad Gita, the verse, Bhavasadmika Buddhi Rekiha Kurunandana, in connection with that verse, Vishnu Chakravati Thakur gives his commentary that we should take up the words from the spiritual master as our life and soul. We should try to carry out the instruction, the specific instruction of the spiritual master very rigidly, without caring for our personal benefit or loss. So I tried a little bit in that spirit so he has given me all facilities to serve him. Things have come to this stage that in this old age I have come to your country and you are also taking this movement seriously, trying to understand if we have got some books now. So there is little foothold of this movement. Now on this occasion of my spiritual master's departure, as I am trying to execute his will, similarly I shall also request you to execute the same order through my will. I am an old man. I can also pass away at any moment. That is nature's law. Nobody can check it. So that is not very astonishing. But my appeal to you on this auspicious day, the departure of my Guru Maharaj, that at least to some extent you have understood the essence of Krishna consciousness movement, you should try to push it on. People are suffering for want of this consciousness. As we daily pray about devotees, vancha-kalpata-rubhascha kripa-sindubhaivacha patitanam pavanibhya vaiṣṇavibhya namo namo. A vaiṣṇav, a devotee of law, his life is dedicated for the benefit of the people. You know, most of you belong to Christian community, how Lord Jesus Christ, He says that for your sinful activities He has sacrificed sins. That is the determination of devotee of the Lord. They don't care for personal comforts because they love Krishna or God. Therefore they love all living entities because all living entities are in relationship with Krishna. So similarly you should learn this Krishna consciousness movement means to become Vaishnava and feel for the suffering humanity. So to feel for the suffering humanity, there are different angles of vision. Somebody is thinking of the suffering of the humanity from bodily conception of life. Somebody is trying to open hospital to give a relief 
to the diseased condition. Somebody is trying to distribute food stuff in poverty stricken countries or places. These things are certainly very nice. But actual suffering of the humanity is due to lack of Krishna consciousness. These bodily sufferings, they are temporary, neither they can be checked by the laws of nature. Suppose if you give some distribution of food stock in some poverty-stricken country, that does not mean that this help makes solution of the whole problem. The real beneficial work is to invoke every person to Krishna consciousness. As soon as he comes to Krishna consciousness, the same example as I have given several times, that a rich man's son is loitering in the street, forgetting his father's opulence and property. And somebody out of sympathy giving him some food. But other person comes to him and says, Oh, my dear boy, I know you, you are the son of such and such rich man. Why you are not running in the street? Come on, I shall take you to your father. So he, that gentleman, takes that loitering boy to his father. The father is glad and the boy inherits his father's property and his whole problem of life becomes solved. This is a crude example. Similarly, all living entities, they are loitering within this universe in different bodies, in different planets, and from time immemorial, without knowing that he belongs to the kingdom of God. He is the direct son of Krishna and God. If Krishna is the proprietor of everything and he can enjoy his father's property and these problems of material condition life automatically solved. Just like if you become a rich man, if you can possess millions of dollars, then your poverty is automatically solved. Similarly, if you become Krishna conscious, if you act in that way, then all other problems in the material condition of life solve. So this is such a nice moment. Ahankang sarvapapibha mokha shami mahasuchi. The Bhagavad Gita says, the Lord says, people's sufferings are due to his sinful activities. Ignorance. Ignorance is the cause of sinful activity. Just like a man does not know. Suppose a foreigner like me comes in America and he does not know because in India, just like in your country, the car is driven from the right side. In India, I have seen in London also, the car is driven from the left side. So suppose he, he does not know, he drives the car on the left side and incurs some accident and he is taken by the police custody and if he says, Sir, I did not know that here the car is driven from the right side, that does not make him excused. The law will punish him. So ignorance is the cause of breaking the law or sinful activity. And as soon as you commit some sinful activity, you have to suffer as the result. So the whole world is in ignorance, and due to ignorance is complicated in so many actions and reactions, either good or bad. There is nothing good, within this material world, everything is bad. 
So we have manufactured something good and something bad. Here, because in the Bhagavad Gita we understand this place is dukkhalam asasat. This place is for misery. So how you can say, in miserable condition, how you can say that this is good or this is bad? Everything is bad. Those persons who do not know the material condition and die, they manufacture something, this is good, this is bad, because they do not know everything here is bad, nothing good. One should be very mis- pessimistic of this material world, then he can make advance in spiritual life. Dukkhālam asās. This place is full of miseries, and if you study analytically, you will find simply miserable condition. Therefore the whole problem is that we should give up our material condition and life, and in Krishna consciousness we should try to elevate ourselves to the spiritual platform and thereby be promoted to the kingdom of Godhead. Jadgatyana nivartanti tadhyamam paramam. We are going, nobody comes back to this miserable world, and that is the supreme abode of the Lord. So there are description in the Bhagavad Gita. So this Krishna consciousness movement is authorized, very important. Now, you American boys and girls who are taken to this movement, please take it more seriously. And that is the mission of Lord Chaitanya and my Guru Maharaj. And we are also trying to execute the will by disciple succession. You have come forward to help me. I shall request you all that I shall go away. But you shall leave. Don't give up pushing on this movement, and you will be blessed by Lord Chaitanya and His divine grace, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada. Thank you very much.